Hey everybody, welcome to Cars, Crafts, and Drafts. I've been getting an error code P0442 on my 2005 Silverado, which has to do with the EVAP system. So I went and I bought two components. This is the EVAP canister. Uh, I think it's the canister. It goes by a couple names. Uh, I think it's the canister and the solenoid. And this is the purge valve solenoid. We're going to replace both of these, but this video is going to be about replacing the solenoid, which is a pretty simple, straightforward job. The purge vent solenoid is very easy to change. It's underneath this cover. So the first thing we need to do is take a 5 16 inch socket and pop off the cover. Right under the cover is the vent purge vent solenoid. Which actually, I don't know if that was supposed to move like that, but hey, whatever. It's got this electrical connector. Pop that off. And this connector here, to get this hose off, kind of, you go really see that. This here, you push it. I'm trying to get you guys to see a good angle of that. You see it kind of moves. So you push that in and lift up at the same time. I don't think I can do that with one hand. So we've got that hose off. This is the only bolt that holds this sensor, this uh, purge valve on. And it's a uh, 5 16 just like the engine cover. Now that the bolt's out, you give this thing a wiggle and you pull up and it comes right off. And it does have this rubber kind of gaskety thing that you do have to take off and put on the new unit. Got the gaskety piece put on the new solenoid. Let's go ahead and plug everything back in. Got a tug, it's on there nice. That's it, place the engine cover. Now all that's left to do is clear the codes. See if that check engine light goes away. I do like the blue driver and the app that comes with it, but obviously I can't use that and record with the phone at the same time. So I'm just gonna use this old Actron scanner that I've had for, oh, probably Eight years or so. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's read the ABS codes. Why not? Let's see what happens. It's a 2005. Truck. I'm trying to get out of the glare from you guys. Let's see over here. How's that work? Better. Chevy. Silverado 1500 four-wheel drive. It is the Bico, the 5.3 aluminum block, the high output motor. It does have ABS. Electronic brake control module, history. Uh, I've had trouble with that about a year ago, but I think we got that dial away. Hopefully history means that it's not a current code, but I don't know. The EVAP, P0442, like we talked about, EVAP emission system, leak detected, small leak. That was a uh, confirmed code, and then the same thing, a pending code. All right, so we're going to go ahead and erase the codes. Are you sure you want to erase the codes? Yes. Turn the key on with the engine off. Okay. Do that. The OBD codes. Light went away. The, the uh, airbag light is still on because I got a bad sensor. That will attack in another video. All right, no more codes. Let's delete the ABS codes as well, just for kicks. That's good. No more codes. All right, 
lights are off, uh, the check engine light is off. And we'll just drive it around for a bit and see what happens. So we'll just cruise it around for a little while, a couple days, see if the light comes back. If it does, I guess I'll have to do a follow-up video on continuing the troubleshooting. If it doesn't come back, then I guess all's good. And one of those two parts fix the issue. Thanks for watching.